Majorca Cycling Center Academy, Wojciech Beran's School of Cycling. Training Blog In today's episode of Majorca Cycling Center Academy, we're going to talk about getting the right training load and setting up your bike correctly. There are a lot of things that have a significant influence on the athlete's performance. Having a correctly set up and fully functional bike is a must. When getting an appropriate training load, you improve your physical fitness, blood circulation system, and teach your body to deliver energy systematically according to the requirements of your ride. During the physical performance, we always map the time and intensity. These two factors are the key performance parameters. The actual heart rate tells us how we cope with the current training load. In order to maximize the efficiency of the training, top athletes also, along with the heart rate, monitor wattage, which provides more accurate data. Contrary to the heart rate values, we can gain the watt data immediately through a device installed on our bike. When combined with the heart rate data, they provide a perfect performance analysis for the overall data management. A power meter is usually installed on cranks, pedals, or on the rear hub of the bike. When we measure the time, we evaluate the length of the training. Such data are crucial for athletes, and every single training session should be fully based on them. To make the training effective, the training loads must vary, and the training sessions must address all the heart rate zones that came out of the lactate test. Then the progress comes soon. Your ride will be more economical, and you will feel like your legs are stronger. The rider should notice that based on the same heart rate, after some time, he will reach a higher speed due to becoming stronger and being able to produce more watts. You will start to notice that you ride through the familiar sections at a higher speed. Other values like distance, speed, altitude, and temperature are only additional and fully depend on the current level of fitness and other conditions. Another important factor that has a significant effect on the rider's performance is cadence. The optimal cadence in a flat profile is between 90 and 120 revs per minute. During climbs, the ideal cadence varies between 60 to 80 revs per minute. Your legs should always spin around fluently. Frequent pedaling saves your muscles and you are able to withstand a higher load for a longer period of time. In case you ride more types of bikes, like a mountain bike, a road bike, or a cyclocross bike, it is important to have an identical setup on all of them, and best, have it confirmed by a professional fitter, who makes sure that your legs and arms are positioned identically on all of them. You should spend at least a third of the whole training volume on your race bike. Perfectly adjusted and fully functional bike is the foundation for success. The rider should always feel comfortable on his bike. Cycling shoes and cleat pedals are a must. They provide you with overall confidence in any terrain. The saddle height setup should enable the rider to pedal comfortably in a smooth, consistent round movement. If the saddle is too high, it's the hamstrings and buttocks which get overloaded. On the contrary, if the saddle is too low, the quadriceps get overloaded and the rider's legs will soon get sore. The saddle is also very important. Due to the different pelvic anatomy, there are models designed for both men and women. The saddle should be comfortable, and the rider should sit on the so-called pair of the saddle. The height and whole setup of your handlebars are also very important. The angle of your arm can be compared to the one you have when you want to shake someone's hand, and your back should form a shape of a bow. The higher the handlebars are, the more comfortable position you get. On the other hand, riders aiming at higher performance go for a more aerodynamic setup. You could also have the advantage of having your bike set up by our professional bike fitter. If we just keep riding at one speed and pace, we will stagnate and make no progress in our physical performance. In our next episode, we will address the specifics of endurance, strength, and speed performance, which, when systematically implemented in training, will significantly improve our overall performance. You have been guided through this episode by our professional trainer, Wojciech Beran, MA. Would you like to make the most of your cycling? Do not hesitate and join our team in Majorca. Majorca Cycling Center, the international bicycle rental of BMC and Colnego Bikes. International training cycling camps for all age and performance groups. Experienced and certified trainers, guides, mechanics, physiotherapists, and masseurs. Do you want to train in Majorca? Then come with MajorcaCyclingCenter.com. Join us and make the most of your cycling in Majorca. Bookings on MajorcaCyclingCenter.com.